In this video, I'm going to be plying Ruby's fur. Hello Ruby. Ruby. One thing I do find about spinning and even plying, which is a little bit more demanding, is that it occupies my hands while I listen to something on a recording on the internet, for example. And just recently I've been listening to recordings of Eckhart Tolle, who is quite a remarkable spiritual guide quite difficult to understand, very difficult actually. So you have to spend quite a lot of time listening to him. And it's not in my nature to sit and do nothing, even though listening isn't really doing nothing. So, oops, I found it quite rewarding, I suppose, to spin and listen. And then I discovered in one of his talks that he is quite in favour of people having one foot in the practical world and one foot in the world of spirituality. So I felt, okay, that works for me. I didn't blend the undercoat with any wool, which I've done in the past, which gave it more strength. But this time, since I didn't have any white fleece, and I wanted this to be a light color, I decided just to have a go at spinning it as it was. And of course, some of the fibers are really short, so they don't have that much strength. So two things happened. One, it's taken a lot of twist. And two, I let it go quite thick. Otherwise, <clears throat> I think it would have kept on breaking. thing I like about Eckhart and his teaching is that he seems to be a dog, dog lover and he talks about how everybody appreciates the unconditional love of a dog and that the reason that dogs are able to love unconditionally is because they don't have any ego. At least he says not yet they don't. And I have to admit that sometimes when you see these videos of dogs that their owners have watched by remote cameras that they've set up in their houses and they come home to find that their dog has discovered some amazingly intelligently clever way of opening the cupboards and stealing food or stealing food from the fridge have to wonder whether dogs aren't evolving pretty quickly. But anyway, so far they don't have the sorts of egos that we have, which take us over and make us behave badly. And he says that having a dog is a good thing. which I would agree with since I've got three of them. 
We're actually all being pretty well behaved at the moment. One of my spindles has got a broken end to it. And that's because this spinning wheel, I bought it in about 1989, maybe, around about there, which is what? I'm not good at maths. 89, 99, 2009, 2019, okay, 30 years ago. It came from Australia, no it didn't, it came from New Zealand and it's called a peacock. We don't make them anymore which is a shame because it's really compact. It wasn't very expensive, although it seemed like it was at the time to me as a student. And well it's stayed with me all these years so it's been a loyal little trooper. But Due to the wood getting old, I suppose, and drying out, it has been subject to a few cracks which have resulted in breakages. However, it's not really a problem. I just need to find some glue and I can glue the end back on that spindle. I shouldn't really be calling those things spindles, they're actually bobbins really. Some people seem to call them spindles, but well, of course that's not right. A spindle is something completely different. is it. One empty and that much left on the other one. So that's not too bad actually. Ruby, there's your wool. <laughs> 